Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so I've decided to make this video for all of the Delta 6 users that are having the, um, I guess, calibration issues. Now, the calibration process is real touchy and it's, um, I, I probably, in my opinion, the most important part with getting set up and playing with your Delta 6. Um, if you don't get your calibration right, nothing's going to go right for you and you're not going to have any fun because you're not going to be able to play your game properly. Um, that being said, I have Call of Duty Black Ops 3, it's loaded up on the Xbox One console, and I'm playing um, with the Chronus Max Plus. Now I've already got the gun all set up and connected hardware wise, as I'll be um, creating a couple of you know proper in-depth tutorial videos on how to get the gun running on your console if you're having issues with that. Um, this is just sort of a real quick video showing how I personally get my Delta 6 calibrated and um, what I do if I run, in, run into any issues. Um, now I know probably the main issue with getting your gun calibrated would be um, not holding still. Now even though you think you're holding still, the, the sensors in this thing are, are pretty sensitive so you, you have to be really still. Um, I, I guess the closest thing I can um, think for you to compare it to, to where you'd have a really good, you know, like, oh yeah, that makes sense to me type moment, is uh, pull out your cell phone and take a picture. You know, you use the autofocus, whatever you like, and, you know, just, just take a regular picture. And then pull it out, take the exact same picture that you just did, but right before it snaps the picture, turn your hand just a hair. And you'll see how, how your, your second picture, it, it looks a little bit smudgy and it's not right. Well, that's basically what you just did with this. Because when you hit the calibration button, it essentially takes a picture, if you will, of how the, uh, the sensor is moving around in there. So if you turn, it now thinks that turning is really staying straight. So when you're staying straight, it's going to be turning because that's what you've told it to do. Um, so, again, let's... Uh, let, let, let me just go ahead and, and show you how I get set up. Now I have the TV over here on my right, um, so I'm going to be kind of far on onto the side of the shot here. But uh, first thing I do is I get the gun powered on. Let me go ahead and select my class so I'm in the game. And what I do is I I hold the gun about where I want to be um, where I want to be pointing whenever it stays level. Now I hold the uh, the button down. I can feel the vibration go off and it should be calibrated. Now, I, I can almost guarantee as soon as I let go of this button, I'm going to get a little bit of a drift. Oh, I didn't get a drift. That means I stayed perfectly still. Now, if I let go and it's doing this on me and, and I'm holding it straight, that means it calibrated in a direction. It, it, it was pointed elsewhere, so it thinks that that direction is straight. So you, you need to point it where you want. Now, I'm, I'm not very good with um, using this on the console with, with, the, with the joystick mode. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to run around and I'm, I'm going to try to get a little bit of gameplay footage for you and, and show you that it does indeed work. Now I'm playing on mode 6 with the Delta and in game... Uh, what's my sensitivity? I'm playing with either... Okay, I'm, I'm playing with 3 sensitivity. Now I've got it set pretty low because the, uh, the gun's real touchy. So let's go ahead and run through here. Oh, found somebody. See, it's real easy to overcompensate. But oh, he got me. But I mean, it, it's 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 a whole lot of fun. Like I, I really like it. Again, my skill level isn't all, all that high on it. But if you uh, you know, if if you're one of the users who gets a whole lot of practice in, and this is your main way of playing, I'm I'm sure you'll just be be beasting. Now, if you take the gun and you swing it around like so. You know, you, you move it around all crazy, now your, your calibration is going to get thrown off. You, you, you have to be real, I, I guess, real fine, precise movements. It's, it's, they're, they're going for, I guess, sort of a hypo-realism feel with this thing. They, they want it to feel as real as possible. Now, I, I know the newer models of the gun, um, though they, they come with a full rail mount system where you could throw real gun attachments on it. So that, that's, that's pretty cool. I, uh, I should be having one of those to show you all pretty soon as well. But, um, I mean, this being said, you see I can, 
I just ran around, I, I killed somebody, even though the kill was, wasn't that nothing to brag about, but I was holding the gun steady, I calibrated quickly on the first try, and and, and everything was working smoothly. If, if you're a good player with this thing, you would have been playing playing great. Um, I, I don't play so well. <laughs> but I have tons of fun with the thing, and then I guess that's the most important part here, is, is having fun with your game with the Delta. Now, um, feel free to ask pretty much any question you'd like to know with, about the Delta or the Cronus Max. Um, if, if you need, need help setting stuff up, um, I have a full list of Cronus Max tutorial videos. Um, you know, I pretty much walk you through anything that, that you need to know with that. Uh, I'll be able to answer questions with the Delta as well. Um, that's, that's why I'm here. That's why I do these videos for y'all. Um, you know, just... Just ask a question if there's something you want to know. I really hope this video helped clear some stuff up for y'all. And I will talk to y'all later.